I'd argue that boomers are the silliest generation of them all. So today we're going to be taking a look at some great examples of them making fools of themselves by looking at posts from the subreddit r slash boomers being fools. That time a boomer almost smacked her hairstylist. What? And, you want to leave? You want to leave? I will if you don't do my hair. You'll have your color. Did she just go, I, I will leave if you don't do my hair? What do you think she's doing? She's doing your hair. Honestly, Robin, if you don't want to gear me out and like get to the resolution of this, you can leave with half your color on here. Oh, she did not like that idea. She didn't really try and smack it. It wasn't like she always smacks her hair. Stylus, unless there's something more to come. She just sort of went like... <laughs> I apologize. I'm having a lot of stress in my life. <laughs> I apologize. I'm having a lot of stress in my life. I mean, that's not really an excuse to fucking go. I mean, she, I don't even know if she really went for her. Or I saw her go like that, as if to, like, threaten her. There's no excuse for that. If she's asking you to leave, you should probably just leave and understand why she's asking you to leave. That was a lot, Robin. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Robin. Please. please. No, Robin. Please. Robin, that way. Like, she's be she's like begging as if she's like holding a gun to her head. She's like, please, 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 no. Go to a different stylist and don't be rude next time. Being rude is mean and you shouldn't do it. No, Robin, let's just deal with this later. Like, I just need you to go. Like, that was oh super disrespectful. She's staying really calm. I would be like, oh, what the fuck did you do, you prick? Fucking perm up, perm up. Bush, bush, bush. That's what I do. That's my, that would be my reaction to the situation. Honestly, I oh appreciate you. God. So she said she appreciates her. I know she's just being nice to try and get her out the door, but I personally would be like, oh, get out the door, you fucking little prick. <laughs> exactly like that. That's exactly how it would go. Karen wanted kids to stop selling candy, so this man bought them all. Why would she want him to stop selling candy? Like, what, what possible inconvenience is he causing anyone? Well, you should be. How much candy is there? How much, how much is all that? Yes. I want to see. I'm buying it all. Fine. I want to see. I'm buying it all. I am gonna buy it all. I'm gonna give it away to all these people. You should be ashamed of yourself. I am not ashamed of myself. I'm standing yeah, well. up for this young person. Yeah, you're really standing up for them yelling at them. But is she, so is she going, oh, you can't sell candy out here because the big supermarket there sells candy and you're stealing their business. You don't have a business license. You should not be operating a, a small candy business outside a supermarket. Yeah, I'm sure the big mega corporation here would be very thankful for your service. Remember when Boomers told us we had to untag every Facebook photo of ourselves having a beer at a party in college because we'd never get a job and then they Facebook live themselves storming the capital. Yeah, that is really funny because I remember like teachers and like I guess like oh, the older generation would be like you can't you can't post anything on the internet that would uh, diminish your job opportunity because people are going to look at your Facebook and they're, they're, they're not going to hire you because you posted photo of yourself with a beer at a party but something so funny about that generation is like okay for example Gen Z and millennial racists they will usually hide behind an anonymous profile they won't use their real name they won't the picture will be of something not to do with them it'll be basically an untraceable account so it can't link back to them but boomer racists <laughs> You go on their account, it's just a picture of themselves, their full name, where they live, it's just with their children and wife. Like, <laughs> Boomer pulls out shotgun on a snowboarder. What did the snowboarder do? Yeah. He's just oh, innocently snowboarding. Oh. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Private property, you fucker. I didn't know that. <laughs> It's private property. Well, you see, you think it's fine to threaten him with a shotgun because he's snowboarding with your private property. I thought, how was he supposed to know that? You live on a mountain, mate. <laughs> how was he to, why'd you live on a mountain? But is that like legal? Can you just point a gun at someone for being on your property, even unknowingly? I thought, at least in America, you could only really do that if they were like threatening you, burgling you, whatever. I didn't think they could just do it if you were unknowingly on their land. I'm not from here. Fuck. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll what are you, up. an icon user? What? What are you, an icon user? What, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? What is that? An icon user? What? What? Did someone in the replies here enlighten me? <laughs> Get off my mountain. Mine, 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 mine. All mine. <laughs> There's a certain percentage of the population who just spend all day, every day, waiting for the world to hand them a legal pretext to murder their fellow human beings and get away with it. Yeah, that is quite scary. Still haven't got any clarification on what icon user means. This is private property. <laughs> Do it again, no 
Holes. I'm not doing Do it again. There'll be holes. He's not done anything. He's just snowboarding. To be fair, this guy is probably just really bored. Like he lives in on a mountain. Like this is probably the first human contact he's had in about three years. At this point, he's just trying to find things to get angry about. Also, am I wrong in thinking that this is all like, if you're on a mountain, right? And this is all sort of like carved out. It's not like wildly unimaginable to think this would be like a snowboarding path, is it? Just, uh, do people not know personal space and that you can choose a window seat? I mean, to be fair, I, I if I have a middle seat, I do be doing that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, like just looking out the window. Maybe putting your phone in their face is a bit in intrusive, but like, it's not that deep. Like, he just wants to take a photo of the view. Like, it's it's not that deep. Why, why, why are you calling him out? This isn't that deep. Like, for most of this, he's just looking out the window. <laughs> okay, he's taking quite a lot of photos. I don't know if this is just on loop. But he's just looking out the window. He just wants to see the view. Guy jumps on hood of a school bus after a student <laughs> threw a water bottle that hit his car. Oh my God, he really hates the fact someone threw a water bottle in his car. He's willing to risk his life for it. And the bus, I love how the bus driver is just, <laughs> just driving. Good, you fall. No. <laughs> He's so calm. He's just on the front of a moving bus. He's so calm for some reason. <laughs> he's just chilling. Well, he's not chilling. He's very angry, but he's sort of chilling. This visitor came to receive her bracelet, so she took it upon herself to lean on the desk, causing this to happen. Yeah. What? What? What is she trying to look at? No, I just want my bracelets. They're right over here. Okay. That's fine, but... Like, you should probably just wait for someone. It's... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I was really hoping she, she would just keep holding on to it and she'd just fall under it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn thing. I don't think they're going to give you your bracelet now. That one almost hit me. I wonder why. What? <laughs> it didn't just do it on its own. You pulled it over. Oh, this thing fell. I mean, it didn't really fall. You pulled it over. It just it almost hurt me. Yeah, and whose fault was that? You don't know what the hell, well, luckily they had a camera, so we saw what the hell happened. You pulled it over. Well, there's my bracelet, but I just reached to get it and I wasn't even leaning on it. I mean, let's, let's rewind, let's rewind. You were clinging to it. <laughs> you were scaling it. 67 year old neighbor and a HOA president. What is, what's that? I, what was HOA? Homeowners Association, whatever that means. Angry I sold my rental house for wrong amount. My friend Meredith, a realtor, says you sold your home for only $370,000. Why didn't you ask for more? She said that our houses are worth $390,000. I sold the property for its fair market value. You lower home values of all the neighborhoods by selling for cheaper. Very selfish of you. Who is the new owner? Give me their contact info. The new owner is another investor. It won't be owner occupied. I am not giving you their contact info. Sorry. Please do not contact me anymore regarding this property as I am no longer the owner. Just give me the name male or female why does that matter boomer landlord being a karen to the tenant come out here we got something very important to talk about i'm actually not available right now but if you want you can just leave a message here at the camera and i'll call you back later that's i'm not going to deal with that you need to come out here and deal with why you're using so much water and electricity because i can't afford you that is not my problem. Um, this is our agreement. I mean, so whenever I live in places that are, have like water and electricity include like bills included in the rent, I treat it like a buffet. I'm trying I'm trying to beat them. Obviously not trying to be, you know, un-eco-friendly or whatever, but I will use as much electricity and water as I like because I'm not paying for it. To be fair, that did backfire once because um, they raised my rent. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see that one coming. So I can't really change that. Here's the only problem I see. The problem I see is I'm going to jack your rent up. If you can't pay it, you're going to have a problem. It's yeah. Gone. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's what's going to happen if you do that. Yeah, actually, bills included is actually quite a bad deal now that I think about it. Because if they're not at least breaking even on that, they're just going to jack up your rent to justify it. That's fine. I mean, I got three more months of my lease. So you can expect me gone after that. You ever heard the expression, make like a baby and head out? That's what you're going to no, do? No, I've never. I would. I have never heard that expression. This is... Look at this lady. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she there? I'm under his truck. I'm yes he is, and I will not let I'm him trying leave. to leave and she's under my truck. I'm laying under his truck. I mean that's I a that's a leave. mental way to protest, isn't it? <laughs> Lying under their truck, risking your life, betting on the fact they're not gonna <laughs> run you over for I d I don't even know what. No, you I'm, have I'm to get out of them. His UPS truck because he will not put it on a cart or even let me help him put it on a cart. 
He wants to leave it on the street in front Wait, of my gate. Sorry, what from what I can gather, this is a UPS driver delivering a parcel. He wanted to leave it in front of the gate, which I mean shouldn't be an issue. You're home anyway. So in protest, you are lying under his truck. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Karen destroys construction crane. Why? What did, what did the construction crane do to you? <laughs> what the fuck is she doing? Why? Like, you do realize you're just going to get taken to court for that. You can't just destroy a crane and expect to get away with it. Hotel VP slaps hostess of upscale restaurant who forbade his entrance over strict dress code. I mean, that would be the appropriate response to getting denied entry to a restaurant. 64-year-old John Monroe from South Carolina, USA, is set to make his first court appearance next month after he was accused of slapping a teenage hostess at a Walt Disney World resort. Is that Disney World? <laughs> what? At a Walt Disney World restaurant free time times in the forehead while under the influence after she refused to seat him due to the restaurant's strict dress code. The disgraceful Disney Park girl was arrested and charged with battery after an altercation involving him and the unfortunate 19-year-old hostess at the Citricos inside Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. Probably the most angry man to ever enter Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what they're thinking. They're probably thinking, what, what, what purpose does this floor serve? Why is the floor moving backwards? It's going to take you forever to get to the other side. But surely this just doesn't take a genius to work out. <laughs> There's people coming the other way. How have they not figured this one out? They're going nowhere. They haven't moved an inch. They're still going as people approach. <laughs> They're just NPCs that are stuck. Oh, okay, right, they understand now. Someone explain it to them. They understand only just now. His granddaughter across the face. I smacked my granddaughter across the goddamn face because she was swearing in public and mouthing off to her grandmother. Oh, yeah, that is justification for beating your granddaughter. Yeah, they were swearing in public. Girl, that is, that is, a, that is an unforgivable sin. That deserves a slap. I'm joking, of course. That is mental. Boomer manages to park his truck halfway up the only pole in the parking lot. Going, How the fuck going, has he managed going. that? Keep going, keep going. How the fuck do you... How do you even do that? Yes, sir. You need to do that more? I mean, I just give people their space. Well, kind of Alright, I'm calling this is this is fake. Who just films themselves at the front of a line? Who does that? Nobody. This is fake. <laughs> what? If I charge, follow me. If I retreat, kill me. If I die, avenge me. This is the code I live by. If you have a problem with it, unfollow me. Every enemy's worst fear. Every daughter's worst. Dream. From cradle to the grave. I'm a living nightmare. I'm a United States Marine. You look, you, look, you look like you need sleep, mate. Oh my god, what? Taylor Swift murdered a fan in satanic blood ritual to join Illuminati insider claims. Taylor Swift murdered a young fan in a satanic blood sacrifice ritual according to production star from Swift's concert movie who alleged the pop star was also forced by the music industry Illuminati to drink the young boy's blood. Of course this happened. Yes, this one million percent happened. Thank Thank you to the boomers on Facebook for spreading this around and getting the awareness out there. <laughs> There's no excuse to be poor in this country. Too fucking right, mate. Too right. Just go to the casino and put your money in. Oh, that's so elite. That... <laughs> I love everything about this picture. It's so good. Convo with my boomer mother AI is going to scam their generation so badly. Just ordered the seeds to grow these flowers. Yes, they are real. They are a type of orchid. No, they are not. They, those aren't real. Those, <laughs> that looks AI generated. Nope. And then he sh she sends the link. Check out this page. All sorts of plants. Yep. And then daisyrose.com is a fraudulent website that lures victims through deceptive promotions. Well, that was not the one I bought from. Just used that to show you the different pictures. But thanks for looking out for me. They, they aren't real. All the pictures are AI generated. How do you know? You can tell with how they look. When I tried to find other pictures of cat face flowers, nothing real came up. Mm, oh, well, live and learn. At least I only spent 10 bucks. You also probably gave them your card details. He's <laughs> 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 just slowly moving. <laughs> So, uh, Brian here has tweeted out, ladies and girls kissing. I think my Twitter may have been hacked. Really, Brian? Is that what happened? Yeah. Whenever they come at you with OK Boomer, just retaliate with OK <laughs> Renter. It usually either shuts them up or sets them off. It's a real soft spot for millennials knowing they will never own their own home. That's fucking horrible. <laughs> Pictures salesman, 
Why would you buy it if you can't use it? Why why did why why did you buy it then? You made the conscious decision of buying it. <laughs> Man lays on table at Apple Store in North Park Center today because he was mad they couldn't fix his Facebook during the outage. <laughs> Does he just think that because you can get Facebook on your iPhone that Apple control Facebook? My ancestors built this country. <laughs> boomers, millennials just don't understand how the world works. Also, boomers, tonight at midnight, Facebook will take ownership of all my photos unless I copy and paste this text. Facebook will take ownership of all your photos unless you like and subscribe right now.